How about we compare Navy Federal Credit Union versus PenFed Credit Union? So let's get with Navy Federal Credit Union first. So basically, its eligibility requirements are not open to all. In order to join, you must be a veteran, a retired service member, active duty in any branch of the armed forces, or a Department of Defense civilian worker. So you can also join without being in the military at all. For example, you're eligible to join if someone within your immediate family or household currently banks at Nav uh, Navy Federal. So um, in my previous video, I already have um, talked about PenFed. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of PenFed. So Pentagon Federal Credit Union is the third largest federal credit union in the nation. Unlike Navy Federal Credit Union, membership is open to anyone, making it more accessible. So PenFed offers numerous banking products including checking, savings, loans, mortgages, and other accounts to its almost 3 million members. But you still have to take note that if you want to avail of PenFed's services, you need to be a member of the union. So members also gain access to various discount programs from partner organizations, but there are fewer benefits that are specifically intended for military members. So let's see if we compare the numbers. All right. So the credit union size of Navy Federal is number one in the nation, and PenFed is just number three in the nation. So the rough number of members in Navy Federal is 13 million, and in PenFed, there's around 2.9 million members. Navy Federal was established in 1933, while PenFed is, uh, was established rather in 1935. And the number of branches that Navy Federal has is actually 350 branches worldwide. Now, for PenFed, it's about 46 branches nationwide. All right. So in eligibility, I've already talked about this. So we're going to just go into checking accounts. So for Navy, Navy Federal, you'd have five account options for checking accounts, while in PenFed, you'll just have two account options. Now, when it comes to savings, Navy Federal has higher APY on certificates of deposits, while in PenFed, they have higher API on savings. So how do you actually um, decide which one would work best for you? So, if you need military benefits and in-person banking, there's um, no question to that. Navy Federal Credit Union would somehow or would possibly be the best for you since they have a lot of branches and also they are more inclined to military personnel or people who had been in service. And if you want an open membership and savings account, go with PenFed. All right, so that's the comparison of PenFed and Navy Federal. So it's not actually that big of a difference, but there are significant differences that you should know about. And, that, and now that you know all of those, please put your personal needs and preferences in deciding if you're going to go with Navy Federal or PenFed. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe. This is your homeboy, Josh, and please stay tuned for the next videos. Peace out.